chest and get plenty of rest. You can wisely warn her. But in spite of the quiet massages and diet, she's still a goner. When she gets the idea that the little church will always be round the corner, a patient can develop a cold. Oh, hello. Good evening. I'm Adelaide, the well-known fiancé. Oh, yes. When are you getting married? The 12th of never. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even get close enough to a church to be left at it. Gee, what'll I tell Mother? Oh, your mother will understand. Just tell her the engagement was broken. I'm afraid that might confuse her. Maybe I'll tell her Nathan's dead and see to it. You mustn't carry hate in your heart, Miss Adelaide. Try to be forgiving and understanding and the pain will go away. In the Bible, it tells us in Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah! You got a boyfriend named Isaiah, huh? Isaiah was an ancient prophet. Don't tell me. Nobody cries over an old guy like that. Whoever it is, you've got it bad. You know, when I saw you with Sky Masterson the other night. <laughs> oh no. Not Sky. You're not in love with Sky. You poor thing. I thought I hated him. I thought I hated Nathan. I still hate Nathan. That's love. Adelaide, do you think men like Sky will ever change? For 14 years, I've tried to change Nathan. I've always thought how wonderful he would be if he were different. I thought about Sky that way too. I've sat and pictured us by the hour, my Nathan, in a little home by the country, happy. <laughs> Wouldn't it? If only Sky. But they just can't change. A little while ago at our prayer meeting, there were a lot of gamblers who acted as though maybe they could change. Yes, but that doesn't mean gamblers at your prayer meeting? Was Nathan Detroit there? I'm sure I heard that name. A cute little fellow with a cute little mustache? I think so. How do you like that rat? Just when he ought to be lying, he's telling the truth. I'm glad I'm through with him. You ought to be glad you're through with Sky too. I am. What, are we crazy or something? <laughs>
Bye, babe.